Welcome to Sports Central. I'm Kevin Koenka. Ahead on the show, we'll hear from the Clippers as they get ready for tomorrow's tussle with the Warriors while dealing with Carmelo Anthony trade rumors. Plus the great one, Wayne Gretzky taking part in NHL All-Star events. But we start with Taga Taga Woods, y'all, trying to make the cut in the Farmers Insurance Open. After shooting a 76 in yesterday's opening round, Tiger's back is against the wall. He needs to gain a lot of ground today to survive to the weekend. Tiger was even on the back nine, so he's got to catch fire on the front. Birdie chance here on two. Just stays left of the cup. Tiger is stunned. And he continues to struggle with the putter. On three, trying to save par. Again, just can't get it to fall. Bogey puts him at five over. To the fifth. Tiger with a tough shot from the rough, but check this one out. Almost rolls in for an eagle. He'll take the birdie, and he's back to four over. Let's check in with round one leader Justin Rose in the fairway bunker on 10. But he hits a great shot that sets him up for a birdie. Rose still has a one-shot lead at eight under. Back to Tiger. Hits 10 fairways today after just four yesterday, but still having trouble on the greens. Settles for par on the seventh. He finishes the round at even par, but that just keeps him at four over. So Tiger misses the cut for the first time ever at Torrey Pines. Listen, I would trade Austin. That's what Clippers head coach Doc Rivers told ESPN about the trade rumors involving his son and Carmelo Anthony of the Knicks. There's no way it's a straight-up deal, though. That's why Jamal Crawford's name is getting thrown around, along with reports of a third team being involved. Regardless, the current Clippers play on, and they have a tough test tomorrow night against the Warriors in Oakland, where the Dubs earn their nickname 20-3 at Oracle Arena. Overall, the Clippers have seven straight losses to Golden State. Time for tonight's Enterplex poll question. Do the Clippers have a shot to beat the Warriors tomorrow? Yes? Maybe? Hell no. To vote, visit our website, cbsla.com. Coming up, Rafael Nadal taking his game to new heights down under. But is it enough to set up a showdown with Roger Federer? Highlights from his semifinal match just ahead. Plus, we're one night away from LA zone, the Leo Santa Cruz going after a jackal. We'll get you all set for his rematch with Carl Frampton in our second round. Stay with us. Welcome back. Time for tonight's Sater Brothers Markets hometown leader. It's the Williams sisters straight out of Compton to playing each other in a Grand Slam final. Their match at the Australian Open starts in about 90 minutes. Roger Federer's victory last night opened the door for a finals matchup between him and longtime rival Rafael Nadal. There's only one player standing in the way at the Australian Open, Grigor Dimitrov, an instant classic in the semis today between Showtime and Rafa. Nadal trying to advance to his first Grand Slam final since 2014, while Dimitrov has never been. They split the first two sets, go to a tiebreaker in the third, it's five all. Rafa returns the lob and the Bulgarian Hits it out. Nadal wins the set 7 6. Fourth set, another tiebreaker, but this time it's the 25 year old taking advantage. A great backhand there sends the match to a fifth and final set. After trailing three games to four, Nadal rallies, takes the next two games, and forces match point. Dimitrov pushes it long, and the four hour and 56 minute marathon is over. After Nadal wakes up from that nap, will face Federer for the ninth time in a Grand Slam final. In the meantime, Vegas is jumping thanks to Leo Santa Cruz and WBA featherweight champ Carl Frampton. They both made weight today for their rematch tomorrow night at the MGM Grand. You can watch it on Showtime. Santa Cruz only has one loss in 34 bouts. It was to Frampton. He's 23 and 0. We'll see if Santa Cruz can bring that belt right back here to LA. Coming up, the most entertaining punter in the NFL adds to his demo reel. We'll show you what he's up to at the Pro Bowl after we kick it to commercials. Hang in there. To Orlando, where the NFL Pro Bowl is going down Sunday, check out Raiders punter Marquette King. Boots a ball into a basketball hoop that's hanging on a goal post. Like, I know it's kind of tough to see. Looks like it was shot with a Pablo Escobar brick phone, but still, that is a legit punt right there. Marquette King doing it big in Orlando. And that will do it for us tonight. Really appreciate you hanging out. Jill Arrington is back tomorrow night. She'll crush it like she always does. We'll see you then. Have a good one.